Namaste everyone and welcome to our energy booster yoga class. So whether you are feeling lazy or sluggish, this is a great flow for you, better than a coffee. This will boost your energy up and this will make you more active for the rest of your day. This flow is a combination of so many dynamic movements and elements which will help you open up the different areas of the body which will eventually awaken the energy within you. So I hope you will like this class. All you need is a yoga mat and you might need two yoga blocks with you. Just grab two yoga blocks and a mat and your beautiful self. That's all you need. So let's roll up the mat, get on the mat and let's get started. So let's start in a comfortable seated position. You can sit in simple cross leg or sit in kneeling position. Roll your shoulders down and back. Rest your hands on your knees, on your thighs. Close your eyes and take a moment to arrive. Arrive in the present moment. Feel the ground beneath you. Let go of any tension, any thoughts. If you want to set an intention for today's class, this is your time to decide what you want to invite today. It can be a word or any positive statement. Just repeat that in your mind so that you can move intentionally throughout this class knowing whatever you're inviting today is going to manifest in reality. Now slowly connect with your breath Observe your natural flow going in and out. And slowly begin to deepen the breath. Taking few breaths a little deeper than your natural breathing. And now slowly bring the chin into the chest. Gently open the eyes and slowly lift the head as you look up. Now we'll begin the practice from a kneeling position. So coming in a tabletop, place the palms under your shoulders, spread the fingers wider, knees hip width apart, release the toes back. We'll begin with cat and cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift your head. Exhale, round and contract your back. Go with the breath, inhale up. Exhale, reverse. Three more. Inhale up. Warming up the back. Exhale, reverse. Again, inhale up. Lift your chest. Exhale, reverse. And one more. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse. And come back to your neutral spine. From here, keeping the fingers wider, shift your weight forward. This time, tuck the toes under. Bring the toes together and knees wider. As you exhale, bring your hips back on the heels. Inhale, shift forward, exhale back, stretching the toes. Inhale forward, exhale back, keep your core engaged. Two more, inhale forward, exhale back, one more forward and back. Now inhale forward, from here again, bring the knees hip width apart, toes pointed back. Press into the hands and as you inhale, lift the knees few inches off the floor and hold. Core engage, feel the stretching at the tops of your feet for five, four, three, two, and one. Quick release, knees down. From here, as you inhale, drop the belly, lift your head. And from here, see if you can bend your elbows and keep creating this arch in the spine. So chest is lifted, hold. And as you exhale, push the floor away, come back to neutral spine. We'll do this two more times. So again, press the palms, lift the knees up, hold. Five, four, feel the fire. Three, two, and one. Knees down. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your heart. Either hold here or bend your elbows. 
keep arching the spine try to find more length in the spine lift in the heart and exhale release come back from here press the palms one more time lift the knees up hold five four three two and one we're warming up the core then release the knees again drop the belly lift your heart hold or bend your elbows creating more arch in the spine more length in the spine so we're warming up the spine and the upper body And from here release and come back to neutral spine. From here bring the knees together, tuck the toes, sit all the way back. Let's do a quick release for the wrist, rotate your both hands. And switch the direction, other side. And quick shake. And release, come back to tabletop. From here we move in downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under and lift the hips up. So take your first downward facing dog, take it easy. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees or start paddling out the knees to release the hamstrings, releasing any tension, pushing the heels back, finding more length in the spine. So actively push the floor away. It's more about finding length in the spine. So become aware of what the focus in the posture is. So instead of shifting the weight forward, try to push back. Stay here for one more breath. And from here, both heels down, walk your both hands back. So coming at the back of the mat, either keeping your feet hip-width apart or together, hands on the shin. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend forward. And one more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend forward. If your hamstrings are too tight, keep a micro bend in the knees. Stay here. Maybe move the neck side to side. Stretching the hamstrings. Preparing the legs for the next step. So this flow is going to wake you up. So be ready for that. This is better than the coffee in the morning. So yoga is the way to feel your energy. Reconnect with your energy again. And slowly release the head, bend the knees and very slowly unroll the spine as you slowly come all the way up in a standing position. As you come up, raise your arms up, interlace the fingers and stretch your arms up. Inhale, keep stretching, stay there. And as you exhale, lean to the right side, stretching and opening the left side of the body. Stay there at the back of the mat and feeling the stretch on the entire left side. Then inhale, center and exhale to the left. Breathing into the right, then inhale, center, keep stretching and as you exhale, this time you'll bend forward, go halfway down. So pull the kneecaps up, so make sure you're not hyperextending the knee. If this is too much, then bend the knees. Keep reaching forward with the hands. I know it's hard, it's challenging for me too, but hold it here. Keep straight spine for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands, walk forward, back in downward facing dog. Good, again walk the knees, settle in. And from here we lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. So try to keep the hip square, either point the toes, point the toe, either point the toes or flex your foot, reaching back with the right heel. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the right leg and let's switch. Lift left leg up for five. Four, three, two, and one. Release. From here again, lift the right leg up. And this time, we'll step the right leg forward between the hands. Left knee down, left toes back for low lunge. Align the right knee on the top of the ankle. Stay down with the fingertips. If you need two blocks, you can get two blocks with you. Now, as you inhale, lift your heart up. Either stay here or if you can, come all the way up, interlace the fingers on the top of your right thigh, press into the hands and lift the chest. Drop the hips a little more low if you can. If it's not available, stay slightly up. This is also fine. Hold it here. Breathe. And from here, release the hands. Bring the left hand down. Place the right hand on the top of the knee. Inhale, center, and as you exhale, push the right knee away to open the right hip. 
Breathe into the right side. If it's too much, you can move your right foot slightly out to the right side. And slowly come back, bring the right knee back to center. Keep the left hand inside, tuck the left toes and lift the left knee up. Open the right hand to the right side to find a twist to the right side. Breathe into the space. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And now see if you can lower your outer edge of the left foot down and maybe step back or may go all the way back with the right foot for side plank. So either you keep your right foot in the front or stack your both feet reaching up with the right hand. Hold. For five, make sure shoulders are stacked. Four, three, two. Beautiful. And one. Now slowly we will move your right leg back. So again come back to the same position. And from here you will bring your right hand down inside your right foot and then slowly we will walk inwards to the center moving in Skandasana. So take your time moving in Skandasana where your right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Either keep your hands down in the center or hands at your heart center. Breathe. Make sure to smile. Enjoying the flow. I know it's a little bit challenging but take your time. Go easy. And don't forget to breathe. Stay connected to the breath throughout the practice. Feel the stretch in the left leg. If this is too much, keep the right heel up. Maybe stay here, keeping the support with your both hands. So hold wherever it feels good. One more inhale. And as you exhale both hands down, use your hands or without using your hands, you'll slowly come up in a wide leg position. So now both feet are wider, three or three and a half feet apart, parallel to each other. Bring your both hands in the center. As you inhale, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, bend forward. Reaching down with the crown of the head, go as much as you can, as much as is available right now. If this is too much for the legs, bend the knee slightly. Again, focus on the spine and breathe. Relax your head. And from here, as you inhale, lift halfway, keeping the right hand inside, left hand on the waist. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward and exhale, twist to the left side. Maybe stay here with your left hand on the waist. If you can, reach up with the left hand. Adding a twist to the left side. Breathe into the space. Hold wherever you are. If you need to modify, bend the knees. Or you can get block and place your right hand on the block. And exhale, hand down. Now we'll switch the hands. So left hand in the center, right hand on the waist. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist to the right side. Maybe keep the hand on the waist or reach up with the right hand. Maybe look sideways or look up if this feels good, comfortable for you. One more breath. And slowly release, both hands down. From here we'll again bend the knee back to Skandasana on the same side. And from here, we'll turn towards the front side of the mat, so back to low lunge. So take your time to come back to low lunge. From here, hands down, tuck the left toes, right leg back, go for plank pose first. Now we'll do modified chaturanga, so first knees down, lift the toes up, point the toes up, bend your elbows and very slowly lower all the way down in chaturanga. So keeping the elbows by the sides, resist yourself, take your time and go all the way down. This time, release the toes back. Press the palms, inhale, lift up for Cobra, Bhujangasana. Elbows in and exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips back up. Downward dog, beautiful. So arrive with your downward dog. If this feels too much, you can rest in child's pose. You can pause the video here. Now we are moving on the other side. So with next inhale, lift left leg up. From here, left leg forward between the hands. Low lunge, so right knee down, right toes back. Align the knee on the top of the ankle. Stay here, maybe hands on the block or come up. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, center, exhale, try to extend. 
the hands to lift the heart. So lengthen the spine, try to create more space in your heart center, breathe. Connect with deep breaths here. And slowly release, keeping the right hand inside, left hand on the top of the knee. Inhale, center and exhale, open the hip. Or option two, move your left foot a little more to the left side. Breathing into the groin. Hold it here. Also take this time to slow down the breath. So as you're slowing down, you're still connected to the breath and you're trying to take more deep and more conscious breaths in. At the same time, feeling the stretch. And now from here, we'll move into the twist. So tuck the toes and lift the right knee up. Lift the left hand up and open twist to the left side. Maybe look up or look sideways. Try to maintain the knee on the top of the ankle, actively reaching up. Find the twist as deep as you can. Breathe. Take this opportunity to deep breather. As you're moving through different asana, you're creating more space in the body. And now moving in side plank. So rolling on to the side outer edge of the right foot. Take your time to step back with the front leg. So maybe you can take few steps, go back, maybe keeping the foot in front or stack. So side plank. Challenge yourself, see if you can do it. Try to lift your hips a little more higher. Press into the right hand, five. Four, almost there, three, two, and one. We are coming back forward. So take your time to come back. Then bring, bringing both hands inside, moving in skandhasana on the other side. So now they are turning to the back side. So this time your right leg is straight and your left knee is bent. Both hands are inside. So you can stay there. I'm just switching my side so I can face the camera. So skandhasana. Lowering the hips as much as possible. If this is too much, stay up on the left heel. So make sure you're feeling the stretch in the entire right leg. Keep the toes flexed so you're breathing into the stretch. Or if it's comfortable, hands at your heart center. Come back to the breath. Take his time to slow down, connect with deep breaths. That's all the purpose of all the asanas, all the movements. How much we are connected to the breath or how can we synchronize our movements with the breath and make it a meditative practice. If you're also doing it outdoors, feel the sun, feel the wind, wherever you are. And enjoy this beautiful practice. It's not just about moving the body, but how much we are connected to ourselves. That's what yoga is. Then release the hands down. We will come back up for wide leg position. So use your hands if you need to, and then come up for a wide leg position. So feet are wider, both parallel to each other. And from here, you will keeping the hands inside. So we'll go for another variation. Either you'll repeat the same with your hands inside, or this time try to grab your big toe with your middle and index finger. Then as you inhale, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, bend forward. So you're reaching down with the crown of the head. If you need to modify, bend the knees. Hold it here, feeling the stretch in the entire posterior body, creating more length in the spine. And with next inhale, lift halfway and exhale, release. Grab your waist with both hands. Inhale, bend the knees and slowly come all the way up in standing position. Now stay in this wide leg position, raise your both arms up. Now index finger pointing up, rest your fingers are interlaced with each other. Inhale, stretch your arms up and as you exhale, lean over to the right side, breathing into the left side. Inhale, center and exhale, switch the side. Then inhale, center, exhale, bend forward again, bending from the hips, just how we did it in the beginning. So straight spine, bending halfway forward and hold. Bend the knees to modify for five, straight spine, four, stay there, three, two, and one. Lower your hands all the way down, beautiful. Extend the knees if you need to. Relax, maybe move the neck side to side. 
reset and from here we'll move back in skandasana so bending the left side left leg bend right leg straight and from here you're transitioning back to low lunge so again left knees bend right leg is straight from here you will tuck the right toes lift the right knee up step back for plank let's go for full chaturanga this time so shifting the weight forward bend your elbows and very slowly lower all the way down so don't rush lower all the way down this time see if you can come up for upward facing dog so press the palms inhale lift the chest lift the knees up hold it here for five chest more open four knees up toes back three two and one from here you can move in the downward dog a regular one or you can stay here on the tops of your feet and use your core to lift yourself back up in downward facing dog now if this is too much you can untuck the toes and do a simple downward facing dog this will give you more stretch in the tops of your feet so try this only if that feels comfortable bend the knees if you need to holding it here for five four three two and one from here again untuck the toes come back to downward facing dog we'll do some spinal rows from here so inhale shift the weight forward rounding the back exhale drop the hips as if you are moving in upward facing dog but staying on the toes lift your heart from here engage your core lift your hips back up downward dog let's do this four more times inhale shift forward exhale drop the hips inhale here and exhale move back three more inhale forward exhale drop the hips inhale center exhale hips back up and two more inhale stay strong you can do this and lower the hips beautiful lift your heart create the space for new energy and move the hips back up downward dog one more inhale you got it drop the hips i know it's challenging but you can do this you have come this far lift your hips back up you can do this back to downward dog from here walk your hands back walking at the back of the mat go wider with the feet this time you are moving in malasana so feet wider toes pointed out and slowly drop the hips in malasana so if this is not working for you right now you might be here and that's fine you can just take a lower squat or support your heels with two blocks so wherever you are take your variation maybe hands inside or hands at your heart center slow down your breath come back to your natural breathing or just slow down your heart rate for now we have one more part and then we'll slow down the class so we'll start winding down after one after this one last part so this is going to be moving into a back bend from malasana so those who wants to try of course you are always welcome to skip this part if it doesn't resonate with you but if you want to try let's come slightly forward so we are in the middle of the mat and we come back to malasan and from here you will place your right hand back so your fingertips are pointing back then you will press into the right hand as you inhale lift your hips up and reaching back with the left hand as if you are going for wheel pose with one hand lifted up so you are trying to turn your chest facing up for now if it's facing sideways it's fine if you can try to turn it up so you're reaching back with the left hand and then slowly you are bending the knees and lowering the hips back down and come back and we'll switch the side so left hand back inhale come up open the chest and exhale come back and switch other side right down lift up and exhale release and let's switch left down right up breathe and exhale come back one more time right down left up if it feels comfortable you can also go in full wheel only if that feels comfortable if not you can just stay there wherever you are because this is a little bit challenging you also need to rotate the hands so to come back again rotate the right hand come back with the left slowly come back and switch other side left and down right hand up breathe or go in full wheel so rotate the hand both hands down lift your heart push the chest forward and then again we'll rotate the left hand as we slowly come back down to malasana beautiful and from here you can slowly lower the hips down
Bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Extend the hands forward. Allow the back to gently round. Just stay here for a moment. Now from here, as you inhale, lengthen the spine. Breathe into the space and go for a forward fold. So if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can stay wherever you are or just bring the legs together and do a simple forward fold where your knees are bent and you're just resting the abdomen on the thighs. So both options are okay. Either try this one or with butterfly legs going for a forward fold. Hold wherever you are. This is your time to slow down. Also great counter posture. Always add a counter posture after any intense posture or your peak posture in the class. Breathe. Try to create more length in the spine. Maybe you can lower your forearms down. Or if you can, maybe you can go all the way down. Hold wherever you are. You can also take a block and just place your forehead on the block. And with next inhale, we slowly come back up. Now we are winding down, so great job. We'll bring the knees together and lay back on the mat. Then you will bring, hug the knees into the chest. Maybe gently rock from side to side. Option to bring the head closer or keep it down. Giving nice massage to the spine. And slowly release the head. Bringing both knees to the right side of the mat. Extend the left hand to the left side. So finishing up with a nice gentle twist. Slow down the breath. Breathe into the left side. And slowly come back to center. Switch the side to both knees to the left. Right hand to the right side. No need to force the knees. Hold wherever you are. And slowly come back to center. And then you can just allow yourself to go in Shavasana. So extend the legs forward, extend the arms facing up. Close your eyes, relax the head and release your entire body in Shavasana for next few minutes or as long as you need to. Absorbing all the effects from the practice, feeling the energy moving. Thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed the class. I know it was a little bit challenging. It was challenging for me as well. I'm also full of sweat. So if it was a sweaty flow, then it's totally worth it, right? I hope you're feeling more energetic and more active now. I wish you a beautiful day with lots of energy and lots of positivity. I will see you in the next class. Take care and Namaste.